All right, welcome back, guys. This is Brick Latney on air. Episode Dion Raps. Dang, I got that. That was fluent. I'm that was better. smooth. That was <laughs> that was smooth. I had to make sure I was on the right spot again. I keep messing up. Mm-hmm. Bro, I keep telling you, bro. Just put your nose in it. You oh, gotta, my nose is in it. You got to go nose <laughs> deep, bro. I am I'm nose deep. If you can't smell your breath, you're not deep enough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nose deep. <laughs> Mark was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so that was mad weird. Yeah. <laughs> Getting as close as I did, I feel super far now. All right, I got it. Never mind. I'm sorry. Word. Uh, Mark Mar- Mar- smoked three blunts on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like no. Well, uh, Mark, right, let's uh, let's get started with uh, a, a question. Question. Let's do it. All right. All right. Shoot it. All right. Word. Um, so the question I had today was. If you can go back in time, I, I know this is similar to one that I, I did before, okay. but it's a little different. But uh, if you can go back in time and tell your, basically help yourself change one thing about your uh, your future, what would you do? Dang. I mean, because part of me feels like everything happens for a reason, but there's got to be that one thing you're like, dang, I wish I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm... I'm it's always like, something. Wish I didn't catch each IV. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, I, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't have HIV, and let's not name drop, please. On this show. <laughs> let's not name drop on this show, please. <laughs> huh. I need more time because I have a lot of things I just fucked up. Dang, I'm serious. You so, just dropped the bomb. Please go, please someone. Go. We can beep that one out, right? <laughs> We probably could. This ain't for kids no more, bro. We got to put the explicit joint. Yeah, next to it, bro, kids no more. <laughs> well, all right. If I if I would, I'd, I'd warn myself about getting hit by uh, those two cars <laughs> in the same day. <laughs> bro, how is that even possible? I don't know. I, I the first time that was definitely me. You know? The second time that was. And you don't walk weird or anything. That was absolutely horrible. Like oh, yeah. I I just didn't understand why. Um, I just didn't understand why they did it. Why they did that. Bro, you woke up that morning and was like, you know what? I'm going to get hit by two cars. You, that was a choice, bro. <laughs> How did that story go? Wait, you walked outside of the house. It was like, wow, it's sunny outside. Boop. Well, the first time I was actually trying to go, like, I needed to use the bathroom. And somebody literally, like, pushed, pushed me out the way to go into the house to go to the, use the bathroom before I did. And I got upset. I walked into the street without looking that one moment. You know? That was on me. But All right. What was worse? The person that hit me, you know, because all I saw me go up like two stories high and they hit that corner fast, you know. Oh, but I mean, they hit the cor- I'm pretty confident they thought they killed me, you know? Oh, they drove off. Yeah, uh, they were gone, you know. Not even a but, second thought. But the know? second time, it was like you, you kind of forgot about the first time. You, you second- forgot that streets were dangerous. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can cross at this red light. Why not? Uh, I got my answer. Um, it's like early mid high school. I don't remember the year. High school has been so long ago, and especially when you're a dropout, you forget. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What year was what? Oh. Uh, um. On my. <laughs> on my way to on point. Word, so. bro. I never found it. I never found a good reason to use that. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. On my way to school one day, I uh, actually got robbed and met the world's nicest robber. The dude. I was on my iPhone on my way to school. And the guy held me up at gunpoint, or at least I think it was a gunpoint. In reality, he could have just had his uh, his um, hand in his jacket or something. I didn't see a gun, but you know, I don't want to challenge that. Why? Mm-hmm. Why would I t- if I lose, <laughs> I lost. Let that sink in. <laughs> Word. But basically, um, while he was robbing me, so to the, to answer the question more shortly it's like i would go a different direction to school but to finish the story the guy was robbing me he was like dude hurry up please just keep going give me everything you have and i'm like all right i'll give you my phone just please i have nudes of my girlfriend at the time can i delete them please just give me time to format my phone please and he was nice he was like all right fine just hurry up and I don't know if you guys ever had a gun in your face or the idea of a gun in your face, but it's hard to think. Yeah, I thought about that last week. I was like, wow. What it look like for me to have a gun in my face? And then just while you're cooking, man, I had a Glock 9 in front of my face. 
<laughs> All right, Mar, don't keep laughing, bro. I feel like it'd be I hot. Uh, no. Um, while I was trying to format my phone and I'm terrified, he leans over, super casual. I promise you, this is a true story. He leans over and goes, Oh, you need to go to options. <laughs> and I'm terrified. I'm just like, What? <laughs> He's like, No, go. Can I see for a second? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. It turned into a super casual interaction while I'm getting robbed. And he just formatted my phone for me. And I guess he had, like, an accomplice or something because then some guy came up really angry saying, like, you're taking too long. Let's hurry this up. They really just got away with my iPhone. It's like an iPhone 3 or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, I just realized that's turned a little bit. I was like, why does it sound like Mars under the water? You got to turn it just a little bit. Hey, let me help you out. Word. Um... For the uh, audio listeners, we're just fixing the mic real fast. But the visual, mm. you guys can see that. Yeah, now now the mic's in its mouth, so it's better now. Word, just got to eat it. Am I coming? I feel like I'm phasing in and out. I mean, I feel like, I don't know, man. This one's hard. What would I change? Because then I, in the process, I don't want to expose myself for doing something real stupid. So I had to <laughs> some like some like child-friendly. All right, maybe a... Uh, Embarrassing moment? That's I what I would think of. Shoot, I don't know. Like join a join the military? No, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would. Yeah, no, that, that's not it. Now I'm just kind of shoot from the hip. Mm. Uh, so there was there was a, we me and Dante we had like a pretty similar situation. Where we were walking to school, and we were watching this one dude. I mean, we didn't get robbed, but he did pull out a sawed off shotgun for what it, it. That's what it looked like, and he was like, "Don't run," and we ran. <laughs> so I guess I would would have just went a different way to school that day. <laughs> <laughs> I would have took that left instead of that right that day. <laughs> a little side note: I didn't know robbers go after kids. I thought that was like an adult thing to happen. Thank you. I really, I thought that was like a super adult. Th- that was the whole episode so far, and I was that close. And I know I'm like the only one conscious <sighs> of like everyone sound like they're underwater. I'm yeah. sorry, it's it's a little hard to hear <laughs> over the music sometimes. But any, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's just like maybe they pray for the week or something, but I thought that was like an adult thing you deal with. I thought only adults get robbed, or at least k- kids rob other kids. I feel like women don't get robbed that much. Uh oh, someone's about to kill me. No, dude, <laughs> they must. They I must. don't know, bro. I've never seen it happen. I mean, the worst they would do would be like yo, like, I, yeah. they get cat called. And in today's time, that's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dion raps. Yo, y'all ready to call? Y'all want to wear? Let's get this raps. Let's get these raps, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode Dion Raps. <sighs> just doesn't answer. I don't no, want that scenario see. to happen. The scenario where just someone <laughs> ghosts us during the show. Am I coming through? It works. Oh, shit. It's I'm not just answering. make sure you can see Rob. Yo. Yo, yo. Is he coming? It's paused. Sir, he changed his whole outfit. (laughs) (laughs) Time to get ready. Sir, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dion Raps, a.k.a. the King of Queens. I need more aliases. You can drop them down for us, please. They do. He's about to start dancing. You got more AKAs. Drop them down for us, please. (laughs) Well, what was it, uh... Uh, DeMarcus Go DeMarcus Go DeMarcus That was doing funny Oh man First and foremost How you doing sir? I'm good bro I'm peachy keen I'm navigating life You know Flourishing How you feeling? I feeling great No one's ever asked us that back yeah. Everyone's just like I'm doing cool You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's like Get to the point Play my yeah. <laughs> So thank you for being so nice No it's not that deep Boy. Oh man no one got any questions. <laughs> Bro, I'm you, kidding. You, no, I'm kidding. I had this to is out. this is a this is the awkward <laughs> podcast. We got a oh. Villa Suave to the right, dropping the ball left and right. <laughs> Play me out. Play the claps, please. All right, bro. Please. <laughs> he said, "Play him out." Yo. He's dumb. Man. That's where six hundred dollars get you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the second op- episode you said it so let's do it <laughs> i want people to know how much i spend on that roadcaster i don't i don't have a good job guys. <laughs> um, i poured it was a lot and then we had on like layaway and then i had to have like a, a ex-girlfriend help me out on that it's a huge story i went through oh, wow. hurdles for this 
Rob's an open book. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good though. Oh, first, um, just to have everyone acquainted again, that's Elijah. It's Elijah right here. He that's, likes to introduce everybody. That's so. Damar. If you got it. Oh, you can't see him. Uh, yeah. He's there. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, word, man. So, so do you want to drop us a little origin story while you're here? Yeah. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> yeah. Issue volume one, the birth of Dion. You feel me? Nice. <laughs> so, um, honestly, like I just, I've always been, I've always been a writer. Like I started writing off of some like third grade, like poem in your pocket day. I was like, wow. yo, I fuck with this poetry shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I started doing like nonfiction writing, writing, and then like slowly that shit progressed into music. And um, it, but it was like I started writing music in like fifth grade. It was always something I picked up and dropped off. Right. And then high school, you know, middle school, high school, I started like freestyle and then like quick scope lobbies. I'm like mono warfare, and I'm like, yo, I'm kind of getting nice with this shit. But it wasn't <laughs> until like recently, it was like two years ago, two or going on three. My boy, I had this track that I was doing with my boy Haku. And we just shepped it up in his like basement on some like on his attic on some like boom bap shit. I was like, yo, it's fucking hot. I'm frustrated, my nigga. Let's make a let's make a track, bro. Let's make something that feels like summer. That's how Gold Flow came to birth. And I dropped it on nice. SoundCloud just like as like a oh like, you know, I want people to rock with it. And then my my boy from high school, like we was never close, he hit me up randomly. He was like, Yo, like, I got this camera. Let's shoot a music video, nigga. I'm trying to play because he's an amazing director, amazing cinematographer. Like his shit is really a one, and he was like trying to perfect the craft as he should. So nice. yeah. he gave me that video, and then from there, like the feedback was just like, damn, it, it might be a future in this. And yeah. like I've always loved music, always been around it, raised off of whatever. Like I can go from Aretha Franklin to Slipknot to motherfucking DMX. It doesn't matter. Like. Just yeah. that whole sonic realm is beautiful to me. So yes. yeah. now I'm here. All right. So right off the bat, I was actually gonna bring up like the earliest song you have on your YouTube, and that's the all caps freestyle. All caps. <laughs> so yeah, again, bro, I've heard it. It's really dope. But the thing about it was obviously that's years ago. Yeah. And you know, as a fellow writer, I just wanted to ask, what do you see the difference in your own skill between then and now? You know, how have you grown? Do you wish you can just attack that beat again? You know, etc. Yeah, no, I would love to attack. Honestly, that beat took me forever <laughs> to write to. At least like a year and change just because a lot of Doom's production is so unorthodox yeah. that like you really have to have a rhyme pattern that like, sounds good. Like, I don't want to disrespect that beat. Yeah, like, man. Doom is like top five. So, the I, 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 excuse me, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you good. No, I... I would like to go back to that beat, but like so much has changed. Like I'm more confident in my approach. Like my subject matter is more specific. Like before I was a really abstract rapper, like just throw bars at you. But yeah. now like my music has a lot more meaning. There's a lot more of my soul into it. Like I don't write a bar without thinking about it a thousand fucking times before I really put it down on paper. Nice. I was going to say that, you know, MF Doom is the villain of rap for a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks. Definitely. Uh, man, because you legit spoke to like the inner rapper and myself. Because like, you'll hear an instrumental you really love, and then like I don't know if you do this when you write out rhymes, but I'll try and find a cadence first, and then try and find like the the melody or the flow I want to address to it first. And yeah, I'm you, just, you'll kind of like not, mumble it. Yeah, I'm not even it. dropping words. It's just like, uh, tomo, uh, so bad. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I like to like start like I'll freestyle to it a little bit just to find different flows like like I love freestyling is really like an art form that I fell in love with so I try to apply it to the music I'll find the beat spend a couple bars to him like oh I like that flow that flow crazy and I write it down I yo voice memos are fucking go yeah, yeah. yeah. voice memos <laughs> yeah, on guys Vo I like freestyling to that voice memos act you uh, have you looking stupid though you being shop right like humming something in your head You're like I gotta do it right now. You in line? Yeah. I'll be on the fucking shift. I, I used to work at a movie theater for COVID hit heavy. Like I'd be on the shift. Like yo, can I go to the bathroom? And I'll just start fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that yo, was where's my... Jeffrey? Yeah, where's Dion? <laughs> yo, you know it's funny because I'm speaking to you now, and I'm hearing like the way you speak and how you sound. <sighs> you sound like a completely different person. I listened to Gold Flow the other day, 
And by the way, like you said, the uh, the video production was high quality. It was dope. You know what I mean? The whole directing and you in it. Like, it was dope. I was feeling the beat. Whatever sample that was was perfect. And the video all went together. But I'm hearing you rap. And I'm like, yo, you sound like a completely different dude. And in, in the process, I'm like, so how did you find your rapper voice? Did you just like, um, you know, throw darts, you know, just like shoot from the hip. And you're like, all right, this sounds good. I'm going to keep it. Nah, to be honest, it wasn't really like a thing of having a rapper voice. It was like, you know, that flow is still me. I think... I'm able to express my duality through the music because like, you know, I'm not really like an angry nigga. Like I'm very, you know, I'm peace and love type shit. I spread sunshine, you feel me? But yeah. like growing up and like being where I'm from and like who I come in contact with, like there had to be a nigga to really, you know, express that I'm not to be fucked with. Like I'm nice, you know, <laughs> feel me? Like it's, it's friends and there's love for everybody, but the nigga will really get hit quick if he disrespects. And that's really just like the energy I tried to convey. Like, yeah, don't take you know advantage I mean? of it. Don't take advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, exactly. You give a nigga an inch, bro, and he'll take a fucking city. Yeah. That's how <laughs> bro, Especially just, in New York. You just broke, you just spoke to my soul. <laughs> <laughs> man. Huh. All right, man. So the song you want to promote today is uh, I Miss My Friends, correct? Yes, sir. Now, that's my shit. please, before we jump into it, give us a little background on it. What are we in for? Yo, because <laughs> <laughs> I know we, we I, in for a treat. Because I know out of all your songs, it's gaining the fastest traction, correct? Yo, yo, we did that. Just I woke up to over three k this morning. Actually, congratulations, man. Dreams, thank you. And under that's the fastest I've ever had the song hit a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use it. Oh man, that's dope. Oh. So I mean, be- we before we play it, now I'm interested. Like, how did you go about promoting your music? promoting yeah. um honestly so to answer his original question the song came to be was just because of like some quarantine hit and mm. like it was crazy because my birthday's march 15th right niggas threw me like a surprise party and then the very next day like that monday we was locked down uh. i hadn't seen nobody in months i just left my shorty of like seven eight years like we broke up mm. and like like i'm losing like family friends left and right niggas is really dying out here my mom's an essential worker so she's like really in the fucking field and like one of the main things to just really keep me sane and keep me going just like yo like i have people to live for and like i, I like i miss my friends yo like i haven't seen y'all in a minute like i haven't seen my shorty in a minute like my little boo thing like it's just a lot of shit yeah. wow. so that kind of just accumulated me the track and then i bought my man's hot cool leaf on it which is like that's who i really started the music with like if you see me you see him everywhere i have man he's in a I don't know the name of the song. Is it the first Gold Flow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's in, in that video. He's in a... I got a list. He's in a lot of videos, man. I was about to bring... I was legit about to ask a question about you and Haku Leaf. Uh, about that relationship and dynamic between bro, you two. We did ask, bro. We started off of the music. Like, it was in like high school on like a fucking aquarium trip. <laughs> and... I was, we talk, dead ass, no, it's funny. We was talking about MF Doom. He's the only nigga I knew in my grade that knew who MF Doom was. And so from there, like, we just kind of clicked over just the love of music. And then we started making it. And from there, you know, went through college, went through trials and tribulations, yeah. owned our sound. And now we back, back and better. Word. And that was a great answer. Word. You guys ready? All right. All right. All right so we're going to play your song and, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and play. If you wouldn't mind staying on and jamming out with us, and we'll, yeah, we'll be right back on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dion Rap. I miss my friends. <laughs> Big up! Oh, they're not gonna. <laughs> Thank goodness. Dion, that's you. Bitch, I miss my Wow, wow, yeah. I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute Ain't spoke to shorty in a while, but I hit it Pull up to the function with a model in my fitted Lord told me get him, so I got him, and let's get it I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute Ain't spoke to shorty in a while, but I hit it Pull up to the function with a model in my fitted Lord told me get him, so I got him, and let's get it I'm an extraterrestrial, nigga, I'm a 
nigga about his vegetables. If this cup on the body, it's fucking where the niggas vegetables. Oh, Lord. The end of the minute again with me and my friends run up in your pockets. Searching for ends and they'll never stop until they make ends. Huh? Me. Like shit, she can vibe on the bottle, babe. I'ma do this some Molly way. Make my music and smoke my J. Quarantine with a bad team. Brown skin, my ass fat. But COVID run the rapid, so I take it down in the hazmat. Shit, my ex. All up on my line, but I don't get upset much. I just hit the climb, and then I know she thinks, but she taking up my time, and I just need a check. Yo, no interrupt the time. Yeah, I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute. Ain't spoke to Shorty in a while, but I hit it. Pull up to the function with a model of my fitted. Lord told me get him, so I got him, and let's get it. I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute. Ain't spoke to Shorty. In the wild, but I hit it. Pull up to the function with a model of my bed. Lord told me get them, so I got them. Now let's get it. I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute. I ain't supposed to shorty in the wild, but I hit it. Pull up to the function with a model of my bed. Lord told me get them, so I got them. Now let's get it. I ain't seen my motherfucking friends in a minute. Yeah, been cooped up, getting all looped up. Some my soup up, skipping on rooms. I ooh. Yeah, she picked me up in her affinity Hand sanitized my life But that shit don't make me clean Make me bling Feeling artsy paint her body While I'm sipping ginseng Feeling on me, she like my voice And the way I sing, sing Don't put a few shit on her I'm just slow and I always find a way Might be the bad little team Those memories gon' make me wanna stay Going in, get an opponent, flown in I would just go like flow the hollow team For the hollow summer All that shit inside with a bummer No, can't catch me there I'm up in the stratosphere friends in a minute shorty hit my line and you best believe i hit it my ex call i decline i don't see a difference fuck i miss my friends i miss my Friends in a minute, I ain't spoke to Shorty in a while, but I hit it. Pull up to the function with a model of my fillet. Lord told me, get him, so I got him, and let's get it. Lord told me, get him, so I got him, and let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, see, you know. ladies, oh, ladies and gentlemen, that, that was, was Dion good. Raps. Dion Raps, friends. yeah. Oh, all right. It's time to give out roses, guys. <laughs> 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 I'll start first. Uh, first and foremost, I can say this when it comes to hip hop. It's a lot harder to make a party joint than it is to just make like a rap record. Yo, you, you yeah. Like, about that energy like, for sure. And, you know, I legit, and it was fun. Like I just, I felt it and I was like, I miss my friends, even though we've all just broke the rules during quarantine. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you no, know, it was it was a good idea for a song, especially with the times. Like it was it was a perfect idea, one hundred percent. Loved it. So um, the production of the uh, of that one uh, made me uh, think back to like a little earlier question that you uh, that you had uh, said was um, about your musical taste, about how you you tend to uh, like you have like musical background in like all different types of genre of music. Do you try to yeah. like incorporate that in your music? Um, I think I do that a lot, like most of recently with my melodies and shit, and just like wearing my vocals. Like, I fuck with a lot of Neil So, I fuck with a lot of Jill Scott, like Music Soul Child, like Erica Badu, and just the way like. So I used to be in chorus. Fun fact: I was on like off Broadway and shit. I was a singer. I was a tenor, and like I've never really honed into that skill once I hit puberty. But now, like now that I'm heavy into the music, I'm like, all right, how can I make my shit just sound like when you hear my shit? Once you like. Mm! Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm like, I sold yeah. So, yeah, I just, I kind of look to them like Roy Ayers and Tyler Creator definitely inspired me because his style switched right. up in that same yeah. type of aspect. So, um, I try to incorporate like that. In terms of like flow and like bars and all that, like I really just, I don't like to be influenced by other rappers. Like, I really just try to pave my own way. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, a side note, I also love Joe Scott, but for different reasons. If you've seen that uh that viral video, you guys know why. Give me that Joe Scott. I'm sorry. Um, I don't even know how energy was like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think no one did. <laughs> so thank you, Miss Scott. That's all I had to say. Was that so? That was was that you like putting the? Uh, were you singing a little bit in the background? Was that who was that with the vocals? That, like towards the end, a little bit. I kind of heard it in the background. I don't know if it was a sample, or, like one of you guys like singing or something. Oh yeah, no. All of me and Haku, we love fucking singing. We love like I can make my voice go normally high, like it's a little weird. Yeah. So like I just I try to fuck with that and sing like all my harmonies and everything. If I'm not doing it, Haku's doing it. Okay. I was you say, say, it sounded good too. You say it added ab- layers to it. When you say really. abnormally high, do you mean like falsettos or even higher than that? Can you go higher than Yeah, falsettos? like I can hit yeah, false, I can hit falsettos. What's higher than falsettos? Huh, like your forehead. I would say like the dream <laughs> type. Like the dream falsetto. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh so you got anything you want to plug or you know we already got your Instagram right here. It's at Dion Raps, by the way. D E O N R A P S. It'll be on the screen right I'm putting here. a note for myself. But yeah, you got anything you want to plug? Um, Anybody? Actually, yeah, I'm going to the studio this week to finish up my album. That will be out very, very soon called The Garden. Okay. Um, Yeah, that's Garden very soon. Uh, I want to plug in Haku Leaf, Haku Leaf Instagram, H A K U L E A F, Haku Leaf at Instagram. Got it. My All director right. uh, and my director, Adam Hans, A D A M underscore H A N S. He does all my visuals. We direct. I think he's a fucking visionary. Like, I say something, I give him the chopper, he let that shit spray on the camera. Like, and he's beauty. got it. Nice. Got it. Oh, Mr. Dion Rap, sir. That's oh, it. Is there any final words you want to leave us? You want to leave the people? Or leave the fans or... I meant us as like a royal us. Yeah, <laughs> if you like us or anything. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just... I'm going to leave you with like everything I really leave with everybody. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, spread peace, spread love. Don't let niggas try to, you know, stop your light. Because, you know, a lot of people see you doing what you want to do and thriving in like that area of life. And we have the same 24 hours. So, of course, you're going to have a nigga that's bitter that you're doing something that you want to do. So, I just say, keep moving, keep pushing, and, uh, like, acknowledge, but don't accept. You feel me? Don't tolerate shit that brings you no joy. No. Don't tolerate shit. No. Fuck that. Right. Niggas is dying left and right, bro. You don't got time for that shit. Fuck that. I just really like that answer. That's all. That's all, guys. <laughs> for real, man. Oh. Rob is the button guy. Yeah, even though I'm <laughs> so far away. <laughs> Don't Anyways, matter. man, this is Brick Ladney on air. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. And we appreciate uh, taking the time out to do this interview with us, man. We really appreciate it. And I appreciate you for having me, bro. Yeah, man, your music's know. dope. And yeah, I kind of spoiled myself, or what do you call that? I said spoiled <laughs> yeah, myself. Yourself. I mean, I did listen to music. It was a couple days ago, and I go to Ra. I was like, yo, man, he's going to make it. He's going to yeah. make it, man. <laughs> so we thought I, about You know, but you were here first, so don't forget that. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, man. Thanks, man. Peace out. Peace, peace and love. I appreciate love, it. Yep. Have a good night. You too. No. Thank you guys for joining us on Brick Ladney on Air. If you like our content, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. And if you're just interested in the audio version, we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and the Google Podcast. The links are in the description below. All right. All right. Don't forget to follow our Instagram for uh, Brick Latney on air and our music page, Brick Latney. Hey.